Hello everyone. Roots. Thank you for joining. Sister Jennifer, thank you. Hey, Sonia. My sister is here, Dallas. Love. Thank you everyone for joining. Please share this video. Let's enjoy this lovely song. It's from our sister Shine Frances of Senegal. Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by, thank you for being here, thank you. Please share this video, share it. Invite your friends, do me a favor, share the video. The topic we have today is very important to everyone. Maybe you don't need it. Oh, thank you mommy, thank you, thank you for the birthday wishes, thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. First of all, before I start, I just want to appreciate everyone for your love. I just want to thank everyone for all your love that you really showed to me on my birthday as you show me love. I pray may God also use people to show you love. I want to appreciate every one of you for the birthday wishes. I really appreciate it. I never know that you people love me like this. I was so blessed. Honestly, I could not even do nothing yesterday. I was just on my Facebook reading all the comments. I was really, really happy to have that love. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for your love. I never expect people love me like this. Like, seriously, I was so, 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 so like over 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 excited i was so happy for the love that everyone showed to me thank you everyone i pray that god 
continue to keep all of us with one love. Let's show each other love is a very short word that we live. So for the time being that we are here, that we have the opportunity to breathe, let's show each other love. Thank you everyone for your love that you show me. I give that same back that you give to me. I said, Jesus love you as well. That whatever that would be your needs, that God should meet you in the right point of your needs. That God should also send your helper. That people will also love you the same way every one of you have shown me love. All my friends, my family, everyone that have put their hand to wish me happy birthday. I said, I do appreciate all your love. God bless you. How was your week? I hope we all have a lovely week. I hope we all have a nice week. I was work. I was business. I was study. I hope everybody have a lovely time. Thank God it's Friday. Friday! Hooray! I'm still on my birthday mood though. So, I've not done anything yet. I've not organized any party, but I'm looking forward by the grace of God next week, Saturday. I think I'll be having just like, you know, a day out with friends and family. It's not just going to be a big thing, so we are just going to make it to be better. I need to cut the cake. It's really important. <laughs> it's 40. I'm really cold. I can't believe that. The time just fly like this, but all the same, I thank God for giving me the opportunity to cut my birthday cake. So I'm so blessed to be among those that celebrate their 14. I know it's not easy, but with God, all things are possible. But I can still really believe it that the years just fly like that. Anyway, I've missed my 30 something. Now I'm 40. Let's see what the 40 is going to bring. All the 40 in the house. I'm looking forward to every one of you that have already been in the, in, in the border. Let me see the groovy. Here it goes. Let's see. So thank you everyone for stopping by. Thank you everyone. Please share this video. Please share, invite people. I know maybe all of you that is here right now, all of you have your documents already. But for those, our brothers and our sister, that this message might help. This is 2020, you know. It's not just every time we sit on the platform to just bring what happened to people. This happened to this one, the other one happened to the other one. Sometimes my reason of really being on this place is just for me to bring more awareness. The little you that I know, let me still bring it out. If it's not for you, it might also be for someone else. Please invite your friends. We have to talk about documents. Oh yes, this is 2020. As we are seeing, the January is just flying already. Before we know, we'll be February. So the year is going so quickly. So at, at least according to the West, they said uh, make haste when the sun shines. So let's quickly grab this year now. Let's quickly put things down, things that we want to do. Let's start working on it now. I think for most of our brothers and our sisters that is living in abroad, some most of us we have, most of us we don't also, we don't have the opportunity to have yet. So for those of us that have already have the opportunity to have, so I think if there is any way that we can still encourage those that have not have, we should still talk about it. So if you have any idea that you can still call into this platform. People will be listening or put it on that comment below. Whatever country that you are living on, we have our brothers and our sisters all over the continent that we all need each other. Don't just let keep what we know. You get what I mean? So if I'm sitting here, it's not just because I want to sit in, in the front of the camera. Sometimes I feel like this document issue is something that I'm really feeling that we need to talk about it. First of all, my first topic concerning the document, first thing that I'm going to say, I'm going to be talking about Germany as number one. I know people, somebody will say, she lives in the UK, what does she know about Germany? I'm European, of course, I'm a European. I'm a European. When I mean I'm a European, I'm an EEA family member. I'm not British, I'm EEA family member. So being a European, I know better, I know more better about Europe than British because I'm not a British citizen. I'm a European citizen. So I'm an EEA family member. So I can really deal, dwell on when it comes to my Europe citizen. I can really talk about it. I have a lot of experience. I don't just want to sit here just to make people to see me that I'm here. 
So first of all, I'm good. please share this video. Share it. Don't be stingy, please. Invite people. We have a lot of our brothers and sisters that we need this information. Please, let's share it. Do me a favor. Just click on the share button and just be sharing it. As you do so, God will also use somebody to reach you in any which way that you need assistance. Your, yours may not be documented, but I think in life, we all need something. Me, I need something as well. We are, we are all living human beings. We need each other to get to the next level. Now I'm 40. I want to move on. I want to get to the next level. I want to see what I will achieve on the 40. So I want to, if people still give me idea, trust me, those that know me, they know I work with people idea. I don't neglect any idea that somebody give me because it's very useful to me. So I'll be talking about Germany, please. The first thing that I'm going to say about Germany, I want to beg my brothers and my sisters, please, stop going to Germany. Honestly speaking, stop going to Germany. You don't watch it anymore. We can watch all the news all over the place. The deportation is just getting too much. We have our brothers and our sisters with kids. They keep on deporting our brothers and our sisters back to Nigeria, back to Africa, different parts of Africa. But they keep on deporting all of them. So that one is a wise one. It's just very clear and simple. For them to prove to us that they, we are no longer welcome in the country. So by the time they don't welcome immigrants in the country anymore. So what we need to do, because it's not really easy for somebody to travel. Even if you travel by land or you travel by flight. Any wish you were me. To be honest, they said any wish you were in a way. I say Niger babe now. We know that one. So anyhow somebody gets to this this abroad is not an easy process. If you come with by your own business money, you might have know how long you have worked to put that money together for you to invest it on a journey like that. So for somebody to spend a lot of money then getting to abroad after how many years that person will be deported back to Africa. I think it's very heartbroken because that was not what you expect. Imagine you have been living in abroad. All of a sudden the person end up in Nigeria or in Ghana or in Congo, in any part of Africa, any part general, the person end up there. Can you imagine the kind of shock that person just to receive? How is the person going to start life? First of all, no house, all the dream have been shattered. Then the children is there. They are going to start everything. So it's really, really hard, honestly. For we that didn't face that situation, we can't really understand it. Maybe as it didn't happen to you, but if it happened to somebody that you know, you know how he is. You can really feel it because they said if something don't really happen to you, you don't really feel the heat. Maybe somebody will say, this one, Abby, the, she don't have document. What is her problem? No, forget about me. Don't worry. If I have document, I don't have God will sort me out. Just forget about me. So let's face the reality now. This is time for us to be honest. To to each other. Our brothers and sisters, please stop going to Germany. It's pointless. You don't want it anymore. You don't really want it anymore. Please, wherever you are, just stay there. Make yourself comfortable there because at the end of the day, somebody go there to go and look for money. At the end, it's not even achieve anything. The next thing is deportation. So the trauma alone, the shock of receiving, seeing the police, that the police just drag you. Man, I think the black people, we are very strong because that can lead to straight heart attack, honestly speaking. For somebody that is not really strong like that in mind, sleeping, then the police just bang on the door and come to the room, start dragging people. I think that one is just really hard. I know they give a notice before that happened. But anyway, to cut all this thing down, we should stop going to Germany. We should stop it. So the right place that is more convenient now for people to go is Sweden. The right place that is more convenient now is Sweden. So if you can make your way to Sweden, that would be the right place for you to go. Just go there. Go straight to the right process. Go and seek for your asylum. If you seek asylum, they are going to give you a working permit. I did say they are going to give you a resident permit. I'm not telling you what I don't know. I work, I have a lot of people. I have friends, I have sisters, I have my families, my friends all over everywhere. So when I I'm talking I'm not just sitting here just to talk there is one of my sister here she's right here with us she know what I'm talking about she know what I'm talking about she's just with us as we are talking she's just here with us now so Sweden is the right place now please spread this information share it 
you will get what I mean. You just share it. Pass this message around to people. You might not need it. That is why I said share. Invite people. Instead of people going to Germany now, they should please go to Sweden. There is no need. Even if you are pregnant, you have kids. Forget about it. No, you don't want it anymore. People have already leaked all the secret out that people are using there. So it's pointless. You don't really want it. Don't struggle. Don't work hard and put your money together and go and use it to buy a ticket to a country that tomorrow you'll be facing a deportation. What will it profit you after you have worked very hard? You have put all your money down together to buy a ticket and go to that country after you have waste everything the next thing will be deportation what's the point so you don't want it even if they are giving millions they pay children millions they forget about it life in abroad is not just all about money seriously living in this abroad we should not just focus on money that should not be our number one priority because by the time we are looking for where they are put Paying too much money for children because they pay benefit. Leave the benefit aside. The little one the government is going to give you. If you have your peace of mind in a country where you don't have stress of police, the day you have a chance to have documents, you can still work that money. There's never a time that to be rich is late. It has never been too late for somebody to be rich. There's never a time that, oh, they will say this one is the last person that was rich. No, there's nothing like that. There's nobody that they have ever crammed like the last person that has been rich in this world no so for that don't feel stressed don't feel pressure don't look at anybody if somebody said he's getting million in germany bless god for the person life do you know why maybe the person have been settled there maybe they have approved the person document so you that you, you are just coming and you can't compare yourself with somebody that's been settled thank you everyone for your love thank you for the thumbs up for the love god bless you Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you. It's giving me more courage to speak more. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Of course, everybody deserves love when somebody shows them love. Of course, I'm not that greedy. I need to speak my mind. Thank you, everyone, for the thumbs up and for the love. Thank you. So even if somebody's getting million, you need to think about yourself. You don't know what that person is up to in that country. I know many of us are fall a victim of, of Germany. Honestly speaking, they don't give them documents anymore they don't give them documents anymore even if they even give them working permit for them to be working if somebody asks me do you live there i just been in germany this summer i got two sisters there and i have friends living in germany i have brothers living in germany but they have their document but it was not just a easy thing that they get with the snap of finger so i'm talking from experience i'm not just City diet just to make noise. No. If you know you don't need it, please share. Let this message go across. Let it get to people that we need it. Because Germany is not just a place that you just step into things we start working fine. No. The way that people were using, people have already exposed it because we many black of most of us that is black we sometimes we talk too much we say things that we are not supposed to be saying we just own on the the computer just because we have internet we are just using it we are saying things that we are not supposed to be saying and it's really affecting most people so because that place has been cast please my brothers and sisters i beg you all with the name of god you people should stop going there because it really makes me feel sad when I see my people has been deported. I'm not really happy about it. It really make me feel really, really sad. It make me to feel really bad that seeing people that have been deported back home after they have dragged everything to make it possible for them to be there. And when I see most, especially when the kids are involved, it's really, really painful when the kids are involved. It's really, 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 really painful. That's the children that's been destined to live in abroad. But just because our own self-selfishness we needed the shortcut to make those children to end up in nigeria so it's not or in africa or in any part of africa so it's not really easy for the children for we it might be easy for us because even if it's that bad we are used to the system that is where we all come from before before we found ourselves in abroad but for those children that have been born in abroad it's not really going to be easy just imagine the children that has already started going to school in abroad they are used to seeing white t-shirt they are used to being the midst of white children all of a sudden the only thing that they are seeing is their own skin color 
So even if most of the children they are talking, they will ask, then the parents will explain. What about those that is not yet talking? What will be happening in their mind? What will they be thinking in their brain? Where am I? What is happening? You get what I mean? So it's really hard. We should please keep our children safe. And for those of you that is living in Italy, if you know that you are living in Italy, let me really talk to you about documents. Let me really, 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 let me talk to you because I built my document to get to the level that it is today. It's not something, I didn't buy it, no. I didn't get it with a snap of, snap of finger. I'm not married to any white man. My, my husband is a black, he's a pure Nigerian like me. So I didn't get married to any white man. I didn't get my document by accident. I work for it. I take it from zero. I take it from scratch. Then if I'm living here today, I live here with the document, the right document I suppose it's not really easy don't let anybody because we nigerians if we have something most especially nigerians because i'm a nigerian i need to dwell on the feed on nigeria i know we are black africa we are all the same in attitude we have something a lot of things that is really similar when it comes to character but because i'm in nigeria i'm really going to be dwelling on the feed of nigerian anyway but that include all africa by honestly but what i'm going to say because we black one thing that we know how to do we know how to intimidate others with what we have we know how to put people down with what we have instead of us to really speak the truth let people know that this thing is not something that you get in one day just because you have your eu resident permit does not mean that those that didn't have it that they don't know that they, they, they are bad luck no maybe you get the right information but you didn't share it people didn't know how to go about it that is how some people they ignore their six months resident then they will travel back to germany no brother or no sister if you live in Italy, you have your six months resident permit, your six months sojourner, yeah, it's sojourner, you have your six months sojourner. Don't not neglect it, my brother. Me that is sitting down here today talking to you, my document start from six months. That was years ago. It starts from six months. I take it from there. From six months, I got one year. From one year, I got two years. From two years, I got another two years again because they have to give you two years twice. After the second two years, then after that, I got my indefinite leave to remain in the country where I was living. I got my permanent resident. So I was living in that country with that permanent resident. I was working. I'm a working class woman. I'm not even, I do business. Those that know me, if you really go on my profile, I've been selling stuff for the past how many years. People that know me more than 12 years, I do business, but that does not stop me not to work because if your document is not working, there is a consequences that is attached to it. So if you have the chance, I know in Italy, there is no work. Fine, I'm going to explain something to you. I don't do anything illegal. Everything that I do is legal. So I will still explain it to you in a very simple way and you will understand it. We are not yet to use British English. and we, Nobody is British on this my platform. We are all Africa. We have to use our English that everybody will really understand it and understand it to the best of our knowledge. So I'm not here to form for anybody or to bring any assent for anybody. No, I don't really care. That's it's not my thing. I just speak the way I speak. That is me. So it don't really bother me anyway. So I'm going to tell you if you have a six months resident, you are living in Italy, you have your six months resident. It's a document, my brother. It's a document, my sister. Don't neglect it. What you have to do, I know it's not easy for you to get a job, but because in Italy, there is surety that people do do. Forget about what people are saying. It's very easy for anybody to come and start blagging. Oh, the people that is in Italy, they do surety, they do that. That person that is talking, what does that person do for a living? That would be the question. Nobody is a billionaire in this abroad. As far as me, Unstoppable Blessings is concerned, nobody is a billionaire. Whoever that knows that he or she is a billionaire should go back to Africa and make himself a billionaire. Because if you live in another mass country, everybody, they treat everybody equally. Trust me, because this is a abroad where a human rights take place. So don't let nobody intimidate you. Like, because you are doing shorty, you are nobody. You are somebody provided that shorty can put food on your table. You don't borrow money from anybody. Of course, what you can do, 
If you have your six months resident, what I will advise you for you to do because there is no job. It's really hard for you to get a job. And if you know your document is not strong enough yet, don't live in a big city. Living in a big city is very hard to find a job. And living in a big city is very expensive. It's very, very, it's hard life. Trust me, it's a very hard life if you are living in a big city. So if you know you live in Italy, you have six months document, there's no point for you to be living in a big city because you won't find job there. It will be really hard. Look for a very small village. Nothing to show off. Don't bother yourself. There is time for everything. By the time you arrive, those that laugh at you, they will join you to bust champagne. Trust me. Just take my, maybe the advice, you might find it very silly, but I use it. It works for me. I'm not those that come to bla, uh, bra, uh, black, 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 and say blah, 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 blah. No. My father is not a, a dangote. So I'm not a delicate daughter. I'm just me. That is me. I'm the daughter of Francis. So at the end of the day, we all start from scratch and we get to somewhere. So what I'm going to tell you, if you know you have a six months document, there's no point for you to be living in a big city because you are not going to get job there. So what I will advise you to do, look for a very small village. Trust me. If you start your life in abroad with a village, very small village where people don't want to live on, you will get a job. I'm not lying. You will get a job. Just look for a very small village that you can be living there. Then you go around and look for a job. Any kind of job that you find. According to my Bini dialect, they said a little drop of water. That is what makes an ocean. You have to start from somewhere. You can't be comparing yourself. You, you just come to abroad two, three years ago. Don't try to live the life that those that have been abroad 15 years, 20 years that they are living. No, that is what makes people to too much stress so just go to a small village stay there if you look for work like you have six months document you are looking for work first month second month nothing comes out of it if you are doing your surety go and register your document as a self-employed if you register yourself as you as a self-employed Ignore any irrelevant expenses that, that is not adding any additional improvements in your life don't add it if you can avoid sending money back home so that you can be able to maintain that your document first, avoid it if you have sent. But if you don't have, you know that instead of you sending 100 euro or 200 euro to Nigeria when you need that money to pay for yourself employed, focus on your document first because it's time that tell for everything because by the time you that person will be deported to nigeria god forbid my prayer this year that none of us none of my black people will face deportation because last year was just too horrible it was just too much i didn't like it at all it was just really too much it was too bad and too 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 stressful for a lot of people and family so if you live in, in, in that village, you don't get a job. Register your document as a self-employed. Thank you, everyone, for your birthday wishes. I'm really seeing it. Thank you. Just that I don't want to get distracted first. I just want to talk about these things that is a lot that is in my head. I just quickly want to talk about it so that I don't get distracted. If I'm not reading anything that you are putting, I'm really sorry. I'm seeing all the birthday wishes. Thank you very much for your birthday wishes. I, I really appreciate it. So if you know you don't have the money, you, you are living in a big city, you can't afford it, try because by the time you minimize your expenses, you can be able to maintain that your document instead of you leaving your six months document and go to Germany where there is not even single hope. There is no hope, brother. There is no hope, sister. Who guarantee you that if you get there, you will see, they will give you documents. No. Sometimes people have been frustrated in that Germany. They are just asking others to come and join them. You don't know. We human beings, sometimes we can be so very, very greedy because when we feel some pain, we want Others to also feel it as well so that they feel the taste. You get what I mean? So to avoid all those things, nobody that will be living in Germany that will tell you, come, that person is not the one that will give you document. So if that person, some, some people, they don't even have, but the picture they are posting because they are giving them little money, it just entices people. People think that they are living well. No, if you are living in a country, where you, are, you don't have any rest of mind, you don't know the police can barge in, no live where there. Let's be honest. No live where because at the end of the day, 
Happiness has to be in, not the physical. The happiness is inside the mind. It's not the physical appearance. Ap ap uh, appearance, physical appearance, we all can fake it and make everybody think everything is all right when it's really horrible in there. So we have to think about the inside happiness. That is what matter. So stay in the Italy there. Register your document as a self-employed and start paying your tax. You will see once you are paying, by the time you want to renew, if you have a three months tax pay that you have paid, that one will be qualified for you to renew your document. If you are a female, I have a, our, one of our sisters, she's on this platform, she's working. She registered herself years ago as a self-employed because she know how to make a, she register herself as a hairdresser. So if you are a female, you can, even if you don't know how to do the hair, because we, most of all the black women, we know how to make it. So use that one as an advantage. Register yourself as a hairdresser. Say today you do it, but you don't have a shop. You do it in one as to the other. You understand? So register yourself as a self-employed. Be paying your tax every month. So in a year, by law, in each country that you live, I don't know about England, sorry. I'm not going to tell you in England this is blah, blah, blah. No, I'm going to tell you about Europe. In any European country where you live, in each year, by right, your documents are supposed to work six months. I've been a victim of this situation. That was 2007 when I had my second daughter. That was a victim of the situation. Those that know me, some of them, they are here, they can testify. I was a victim because I didn't know my rights. That I'm supposed to be working six months in a year. So because we have a shop, I just sit in the shop. I never go out to work because my husband was running a business. So I was sitting down inside that shop. Both of us were running it together. But it was... The self-employed was him. So my document was not reading. By the time I want to renew, they asked me to go and bring my contract. Then my husband gave me a contract for me to attach to it. Then they said, because we are both married in legal way, so it's a family business, that contract cannot be considered for me to renew my documents. So this is my story. I'm not telling you anybody's story. I'm the kind of person I don't like to put myself in a level where I'm not getting to. I will just tell you what happened to me so that you can learn from it. So they said I can't renew my document. Because why? Because my document, that is when I know. They said my document have not worked six months in, that, in a year. So that is when I know. Then I ask lawyer. Lawyer said every year your document supposed to work six months. So if you are living like you are living in a place like Italy, that is why some people will say they put their documents in renew. It didn't come at years because your document didn't meet to that standard that they were expecting. So because there is no job opportunity in Italy, you won't get blamed for it. Nobody's going to say, though, you are not serious. Yeah, you are, but there is no job. So for that, whatever that you know that you are doing for a living, Include your document to it. Register yourself as a self-employed so that in a year you will know that you can pay your six months tax. So that when time, if every year, say for example, you have two years document, you register yourself as a self-employed. Six months, you manage to pay your six months in a year. Then you have secured the first year. Then for the second year, you also manage to pay another six months. So by the time you are going to renew your document, you will have a tax a proof of your task that you have paid as a self-employed to her to it so that you can take it to go and renew your document. So if you do it that way, your document will not be seized. So if in a year your document works six months, provided you have not committed any crime, your document will not be seized by the time you put it in the renew process. It will come out nicely. So that is the case. So if you are in a situation, if you are in Italy, yeah, if you are in a situation whereby your health situation is not permitting you to work, let your doctor know about it, that you are facing. Don't be ashamed of anything. No situation is permanent. Anybody that finds that is or herself in any situation, you never wish for it. It happened. So if you know that you are facing any health challenge that is not permitting you for you to work, go to your doctor. It's also approved. I'm not giving you wrong information. You can do your own research. I'm telling you what I know. I'm not just telling you what I don't know. So you can talk to your doctor. 
tell your doctor that because of your document status so this is the situation that by the time you are going to renew because you have not been able to work so you might face some uh, challenges so for that the doctor will get some documents ready that will explain your medical ethics situation the reason why you are not be able to go to work for those periods of time everything will be put down everything will be everything it will be documented so when you are going to renew your document you will go with your medical proof to go and renew your documents it has happened to somebody and that is the process we use and everything went away trust me whatever i'm telling you tonight if you believe you believe if you don't believe you can still forget about it, but please share the, just share the video. Let it get to those that might need it. So if it's a situation that the person is facing a health condition that you can't work in any country that you are living on, that one is health situation. Just make sure you have all your medical reports attached to it so that you use that one as a proof to renew your document so, so that your document will not be seized for no reason. So... If you know you are living in a country like living in a gem, living in Germany, for me, if you don't have any document to live in Germany, it don't make sense for you to live there. Because why? If you are living in a country that you don't really have how many years that you have to live in this country for you to be able to qualify to have a document, what's the point of living in a country like that? It's pointless. It don't make any sense for you to live in a country that they don't have any years that they put that if you have lived in this country for time to this time like this, you'll be eligible for a resident permit. So if you are living in a country that don't say any law like that, that money don't worth it. That money I give him, I personally I give it a thumbs down. Because you are not a beggar. You are in abroad for tangible reason. So you need the document that will improve your life. Because by the time you have the document, you can move to anywhere and work and make your dream to come true. But if you are living in a country just because of 300 euro or 360 euro, whatever they are giving, that one is not enough for you to even do anything. You can't even run all your bill. How long are you going to continue to be feeding with a doc, a, the government money that tomorrow they will come to tap you in your bed and, and the next thing what you are seeing, you are giving rest in peace to abroad. Because when you get there to so come back is not going to be an easy thing. Trust me. It's not easy to come to abroad now. It's not an easy process. It's very hard. So for you to avoid all those things, ignore Germany. Just let Germany be a no way. No way. Just call it like no go area for a moment because it's really bad in there. That place is really horrible to be honest. So focus on your document that they give to you in, Germ in uh, Italy. Work on it. Build it. Trust me, if you focus on that six months that you just look and say this one is a six months document, do you think those that end up having their, their uh, passport, their European passport, do you think their document just starts after two years? They have it. No, it takes years. It really takes years. It takes years before you will build your document to this is a level that you end up having a European passport. So don't be too rushed. Don't try to look for shortcuts. Sometimes shortcuts is, is good. Sometimes shortcuts as well always damage some things on, along the line. So for you to avoid all those incidents not to happen to you, just focus on your right process. Go with it. And the easiest place for you to really have future of documents is Spain. <laughs> Trust me, um, it's really funny to me because the way everybody talk about Spain, in, I come across different video in YouTube, in Facebook that says Spain is rubbish. You can't really know about Spain if you have not lived there. You can't really know about Spain if you have not lived there. Spain is a very peaceful country. It broke my heart when I see people ignoring Spain, they are going to Germany. No. <laughs> money is not everything trust me document is the life of europe if you are a millionaire in this abroad you don't have document if you dare cross the border you come down in a car or oh? oh, to come back not be easy to you that money will not just take you and put you in the flight and come home. you have to apply for visa imagine if you are applying for visa then you are getting negative 
what can you do? You can't put your money in the road and start working with it. So those that have documents in abroad have more future. You have to think about the future. Because why? Most of us, we come here, we start having children. So if we don't have if we don't have document to support our children, so what kind of future are we building for them? What is their hope? What are we living for them? It's easy, you come, you work, you make your money, you start building us in Africa. But what about the children? If you don't have document, what would be their unique guarantor? What kind of guarantor you are giving to them? What is their future that you are planning for them? You need to think those ones, that is why. As adults, we need to calm down. You can say you are 18, you are 19, you are 20. Yeah, the years is going. Every day the years is going. One day you will have a child. By the time you have a child, you don't have document. You will know how hard it is. You will know what it takes. And I see some people, they said because their child was born in Germany, they said their child is Germany. No. Let me really clear you. If you are not married to a German man, you are married to a Nigerian, or you are married to a Ghanaian, or you are married to Senegal, Congolese, Ivory Coast, anyone, provided you are is black to black, any child you gave birth to, if you don't have document, they are not going to give your child a German passport straight away. So how can you say your child is a German? When you gave birth to your child, you don't have a document. If that child is a German, they're supposed to give that child German passport straight away. Or you gave birth to your child in, in Spain, then you said your child is Spanish when you don't have documents. What are they? You, you think they will just give your child passport straight away? No. Everything go by process. Let us learn to be too proud. Let's admit it. We are foreigners. There's nothing we can do about it. Even if you are using red passport, go and check your place of birth. Your place of birth still, still determine where you are coming from. Don't let the document deceive you. Let's ask accept our status by the time we are accepted then we'll know the next step to take from there because sometimes we over over proud and we forgot that we are living in another mass land and because of the way we are doing things is influencing others and most people have been falling a victim just because of we just because of we the way we are doing things the way we are making them to see that is easy let's pick the truth is not easy when it comes to document is not an easy thing let everyone of us be honest to each other we does that have already had the chance to have it is not just a snap of finger that we got it no it takes process by process with that your six months that you get if you renew your six months you will get one year Appreciate God for the one year. After that one year that you, you have, if that one year expire, you will got two years. If you are the lucky type, it's God. If you are the lucky type, by the time that your two years expire, they may end up giving you three years. You see, gradually, you are building it. You are coming to somewhere already. By the time that three years expire, maybe from there, if things work in your own favor straight away they will give you five years by the time you have your five years in italy that then that like i think five years they call it cata sojourner yeah i don't know if any italian person is here I think it's cata sojourner they call five years yeah oh no it's five years document after that five years expire you will have your cata sojourner so by the time at least if you have a five years document you are moving from one place to another you are holding a five years document so if you get there you know that you are going in a very straightforward point you are go you have made up your mind okay now i want to go and base in germany i have my five years resident permit in italy when you go there go straight to the right office ask ask the right information I tell them that this is the kind of document you have. Let them look towards it and give you the right information. If that five years that you have, it will permit you to live in it, that country that you went. If it will permit you to live there and work there, then you stay. If the information that they give you, you are not convinced with it, seek for a lawyer, go to a solicitor, ask a right information. Let them give you your right information. Make sure that the information that you have is the right one. Then if you get the right information, you know that you can live in that country and work there, very important. Any country that you cannot live and work, you can have your own documents in a country. Then you go to a country where you'll be hiding for police. May let them keep their money. 
No matter how hard our country will be, we should always remember we are not a beggar. We should stop putting ourselves as a beggar. We are not a beggar, either rain or sun. We are not a beggar. We are coming from somewhere. We never eat sand before we end up in abroad. So we should not put ourselves because I did from one place to another. It really break my heart. We are just living ourselves too much just because of TD or something. He don't watch it. Honestly speaking, you don't really watch it. Don't slave your child. Don't slave your children. These children have future. The child that you have already have in Italy, they have given them document. Don't turn them to another asylum seeker now. It's not making any sense now. You should think about it. How long? How many history do you want that child to have in abroad? How many countries do you want that child to have asylum? Come on, you don't know what will be the future of your own child tomorrow. You don't know what will be the future of your son, of your daughter. Let's look forward to the future of our children. We will travel all the way from Africa to come and live here, but we will have our children here. They have more chance, more opportunity. Let's forget about what we have. We need to achieve in Africa. Let's forget about it. Let's focus in the future of our children. It matters a lot. The future of our children really matters a lot. How we can support our children's future is by the way we go in the right way. Legalize their documents in any country you are living on. Brother, those that live in Italy, they still end up having passports that, that, that will permit them to come and live in England. It will permit them to go and live in Ireland. It will permit them for them to go to Canada if they have 6,000 euro. If they go to Canada, they will register themselves. Then they will give them resident permit five years straight away. Or you can easily go to America and ask for the right information and follow the legal process. Then you live there. So what are we talking about? You have your children in Italy does not mean that you are going to end up there. Take it easy. Take it easy. The food that you will feed on on, life, on the life time is more better than the one that you will eat today and they will finish today. What are you going to profit that the JAMA, they have been paying you TD on drugs, something, paying the children. After two TD years, you end up in Nigeria. What kind of future is that one? The person that is living in Italy is still living with the children. He has more hope that one day, that person tomorrow, by the time we have his document to a certain stage, he can easily move to go and live in Germany without no stress, without having any panic. So, me that is sitting down here today, I'm talking from UK. When I arrived abroad, me, my husband, we were not, we did come to England. But I'm here today. I'm not living in this country illegal. I did come here illegal. I come here illegal. But it take years. My brother and my sister, it take years. It didn't take me five years. It didn't take me ten years. No. If you you live in abroad, you know how many years it take. I didn't marry to any white man. My husband is black. Like I said before, I've never married to anybody because of any document. I did my marriage. I did the court weddings in a very genuine way. I, had, I was having my documents in my hand when I was getting married. I followed the right process. A lot of people were looking at me that I don't know what I'm doing. No, I didn't rush because I want to get to somewhere. My children's future was very important to me. I did seek asylum. I've never seek asylum in any country. I'm not bragging. I've never seek asylum in any country. I was very patient. In Spain, I am Spanish. I'm proud to tell you I am Spanish. I'm not British. I am Spanish and I'm very proud of it. I'm living in England now for seven years. I'm living in a very legal way in this country. I come here with my right document. Me and my husband and my children, we come here with our right identity in our hand. Rent our house. Then we start working. There is no, it is not something that we do in five years. It takes years. Be patient. Trust me. I'm telling you from experience. Be very, very patient. Be patient in any country that you are. Appreciate the six months document that they give to you. Take it from there. My document start from six months. My document start from six months. I was given documents in May and my document expire in October. I was paying my tasks. I didn't have any job. It was not really easy for me to get a job within six months. But I paid that task for good six months. When I'm talking, I'm telling you from my own experience. I paid the, doc the task for six months. That is how I paid my task. Good six months. After that, I put in for renew. 
Because I paid the tax for six months, straight away they give me two years. From two years, I, they give me another two years again. They give me two years twice. After they have given me two years twice, after that, I renew my documents again. That is when I didn't know the law of the country because I think that I've had my second two years. I was thinking all was done. My head of sister is on this platform. She know I'm not lying. I think all was done there. Then I was relaxed. I didn't even bother anymore. That is when I had my second daughter. I put my document in renew. They seized it. They said my document didn't work six months in a year. That is when I start going deep. I, knew, I said no. I can't just be holding document. I don't know my rights. I tried to do more research. Ask lawyer. Then I know my rights of living in Spain. That if I'm living in that country each year, my document need to work six months till I will get my leave to remain in that country. So that is how I work with it. That is how I go about it. That is how my husband have a shop, but his own shop did not save my document. They collect my document from my hand. Trust me, I'm not bringing you, it happened to somebody. This is my story. It didn't happen to somebody, it happened to me. Unstoppable blessing that is sitting down here talking now. It happened to me. My document was seized from 2017 to 2018. They didn't give me my document, but do I give up? No, I did not give up. I start going around, asking more information. What can I do? Then we go to the right process. I get a lawyer. I start working. I have to leave my shop. I said to my husband, I can't continue staying on this shop anymore. I need to work. Since they said your own shop cannot even protect my document, everybody have their own reference number. Everybody, uh, numero de DNI is different. So I have to work on mine. So I have to quit shop and start working. It's not funny. I'm not those that like to be proud. If I'm here anywhere that I am today, I have to remember my past. My past leads me to my present. I don't rubbish my past out of my life. I always have to remember my past because if you don't know where you are coming from, you won't go nowhere, trust me. If you don't really know where you are coming from, you are, that means you don't have a destination. It's when you have where, know where you are coming from, that is when you know where you are going to. So I know where I'm coming from. That, that because I know where I'm going to. So that is how I started. For good one year, my document was seized. I was not the only one. We have a lot of women, men, that their document was seized that 2017. They could not meet up to the demand. But I didn't give up. I was working. I was working with that document that they have been seized. I went to meet a lawyer. They process everything. I think we first we go to private lawyer. After private lawyer, the private lawyer didn't give the right information. Then one of my husband's uncle referred my husband to go and meet a government lawyer, which we only pay five euros. Sometimes people will say government lawyer is not good. We only pay five euros. With the five euros that we pay to the government lawyer, the government lawyer helped me to get some backdated documents from the immigration office that attached to my expired document that I take to the agency. No direct work, no direct company could employ me. So I was working with agency. That is how I was working. After they see that, they seized my document. I didn't give up. I worked for good one year. Do you know, after I worked for good one year, one day, I just checked my letter bus. A letter was there. They said I should come to Tompreet for my five years, which that was permanent residence. So then I don't have any condition that if I don't work, they will take it. You see, after I work one year without no document, but he has expired. They have given me a letter. They said they have seized my document. They asked me to for me to come and take a document from my uh, my husband. I have to be my husband dependence. That means I'm starting from zero again. They are giving me one year again. I refuse. I said, no, I'm not taking this one year. I need my document back. Then that is how we take it from there. After I've worked one year, they write me. They just, I didn't even bother anymore. I said, then we provided I'm working. Let me continue. If nothing comes out of it, then I have to go back and go and apply through my do husband document. Then I start at fresh again. But sometimes when you are starting at fresh, it's hard. It's better you fight the old one and get it back. Because sometimes if you are fighting, if they 
they have seized a document from you, you apply another fresh document. It's very hard for you to get it. Very, very hard. So I was focused on my own. I said, let me fight this one back again. That is how I end up getting my indefinite leave to remain in Spain. So since that 2007, and I knew that, okay, each year, you must work six months in a year till you have your indefinite leave to remain, till you have your permanent stay in a country. I'm not talking about passport. I'm talking about your permanent stay, which they, in Spanish, they call it... Uh, Oh, how do what they were calling it in Spain? They were calling it permanente. Then uh, in uh, Germany they call it unbefisted. Yeah. Then uh, in uh, Italy they call it a uh, cata sojourno. I think something like that. So in England they call it indefinite leave to remain. So I'm not talking about passport. I'm talking about your five year stay. That one. By the time you grow your document to that extent, then you don't have any nightmare concerning document anymore. So if you know you are living in Italy. You don't have any documents at all. They didn't grant your asylum. I will advise you, go to Spain. If you have your way out to get to Spain, go to Spain. Spain is a country whereby every time they bring out law, they announce if you have lived in this Spain for five years or for three years, you have any proof to show that you are believing in Spain. That is why when people open their mouth and say rubbish Spain, I just laugh. I just laugh. They are satisfied with 300. No. They don't pay benefits in Spain, but you have a future in that country. I am telling you from experience. They don't pay money there. They don't pay children. We that is out of Spain, we don't rely on government money. There will always be a way out for you to work there. There are different kind of job that you can do. Just pull yourself down. Humble yourself. Follow the right link. Tomorrow you will get to where you want to be. You will get there definitely because Spain is a country where if you live there for three years, you didn't commit any crime, you can go to there and say, I have been living in this country for three years. Then they will ask you if you have a proof. Then they will check. They will tell you when they will open that file. They always do it. I'm not lying. I have a lot of people from Spain. They are online here with me. If I'm lying, they're supposed to type it already that I'm lying. No, I'm not lying because people come out and tell, talk about Spain when they don't know anything about Spain. They say Spain is rubbish place. Spain is this, Spain is that. No, they should rely on the 300 that they are getting wherever they are living. No, if you live in Spain, you have your rights document. You have a proof. Put them together. I've been living in Spain for three years. Each time they always announce, if you know you are living, you have been living in Spain for three years, you have a document to prove, they will tell you, this is the process you need to go for you to apply for your residence. Is it no more better than you are living in a country where you will live there for 10 years, even your a proof of living in a country for 10 years does not even qualify you for you to apply for a document? What kind of country is that? Because of 300 euro, market the issue. What are you going to do with 300 euro? What, what, what kind of app, what kind of plus 300 euro is going to give you when you have been living there, you don't even have any hope of getting documents. So you go to Spain, if you know you are living in Italy, you are living in Germany, don't kill yourself. I don't like seeing my brothers and my sisters crying. The way they are stressing because of documents, it really pissed me off. I wish I can really help to give honestly because it really break my heart it stressed me i'm not really happy the way our brothers and our sisters has been neglected has been abused in germany they don't even treat them anymore as if they are human and the other day i come across a video on youtube a presenter was saying that she's so happy the way they are deporting people how can you say things like that if things work well for you does not mean that you have to love other people's situation you need to be your own brothers and your sister keeper. You need to feel for them. You don't know what they are going through in that process. You don't know the trauma that they are having. You don't know the stress, the disappointment that they are having. And you are opening your platform and saying that you are so happy that they are deporting them. Why will you say things like that to your own fellow brothers and sisters? You were once asylum. Excuse me. You don't mock people's situation. I don't like it at all. That is why I said this is my platform. is not to put people down. I don't like it. You don't mock people's situation. That situation is not permanent. 
Please, brothers, please, sisters, stop going to Germany. Go to Spain. If you live in Spain for five years, you have hope of getting documents. They are not going to be paying you. Yes, if you can go to Bibao, if you are going to Spain, you are looking for where the government can support you, then you need to go to like places like Bibao, Pamplona, Vitoria, the San Sebastian, those are places that the government will support you. I'm telling you, I'm giving you the information that I know. But it's very expensive to rent an apartment there. It's very, very pricey. You, if you know you can afford it, go to places like that. If you are living in Bibao, you are living in... Uh, you are living in Bibao, you are living in Victoria, you are living in Pamplona, you are living in San Sebastian. Those places, they will help you. They can be supporting you. He said, is that only on Italian? Is that? No, I'm talking about Spain, places that they can go in Spain. May this church please there's any. Okay. So if you can go, if you are going to Spain, you are looking for where the government can help you, go to these places that have been mentioned. If you go there, yes, that is where the government will support you. But if you are going to, if you are not going to those places, you won't get any support. But you will get your peace of mind. Your peace of your peace of mind. It matters a lot. Your rest of mind. Your good sleep in the night. Please, I don't want any of my brothers and my sisters to leave this country with blood, high blood pressure. Please. I don't want any of my brothers and sisters because all my brothers are my brothers and sisters. They are my sisters. I don't want any of us to leave this country with, with stress. How many years do we have to live in the world that we have to end up taking the pressure tablet? These are the medication that none of us have ever taken in our country. But most our brothers and sisters in abroad, they have this high blood pressure problem. Why? Because of document. Please, ignore German money. Focus on your future. Your future, the way I see my people, I see everybody with a brighter future because we have a plan. We are a master planner. We think quick. Our brain works very fast. What we can do in 30 minutes, these people cannot do it in one hour. Trust me, we are very, very valued. We, are, we know how to use our brain. We know our initiative. That is how we can find our way to come to this country because we were not born here. Our parents, most of us, our parents did bring us here. Most of us, our parents don't even know what they call abroad. But we are here. Is that not enough things for us to be proud of ourselves that at least we are making efforts in our life. We are taking a step forward already in our life. For just because of 200 or 300 or 500 that they will pay you, that one does not work your own destiny. You don't want your good debt. Good debt is really, really important. Imagine after having the high blood pressure, having depression, they have already put them on medication before they start giving their document. What kind of document is that one? Sickness document. A document that the person we have, you have to live on medication for the rest of our life. No, you people don't need it. We don't really need that kind of document. We need the document that we can be able to celebrate with good debt. It's very, very important. So for that, live in a country where you will have your peace of mind. And for those of you that is living in Germany, please stop dragging people to come. Tell them the truth. What I don't like is when people like to deceive each other. Speak the truth. Tell them the way he is. Tell them the simple truth that this is the way Jama is now. This is how it goes. So that people will stop falling a victim. Why are you achieving that? You because you are already a victim. You want your brother or your sister or your friend to come and also join you to be a victim. Come on. You people should go to Sweden. I'm telling you, go to Sweden. If you get to Sweden, go to the right process. They will give you your working permit. I didn't say they will give you a resident permit. They will give you, instead of you going to Germany, ignore Germany, go to Sweden. They will give you your working permit. By the time they give you your working permit, put yourself down. Don't breach their law. Don't go beyond. Don't try to pass the shortcut. Just focus. Be working with your working permit. It will get to a point, then you will have right to apply for your resident permit but if you apply if you go there you seek asylum they deny you don't be frustrated my brother don't be frustrated don't run away just focus put yourself in a situation where you will not involve with police stay calm after one year go out again one of my lovely lovely brother is there 
That is the process that he used. Now they give him his working permit. He's working and he's happy. He's well respected. He has never been neglected. They have never oppressed him in any which way. He's living his normal life. He has his own house. Every day he's going to work like every other person. So one day they will give him his document. That one is more better. Instead of you to go to a country that they will give you a five years, a 500 euro, 400 euro. You can't even sleep in the night. What kind of depression money is that one? That money is heart attack. That money is sleepless night. You can't even sleep with the money. What kind of money is that one that you are spending? You are having stress in your mind. You don't want it. You people should stop going there. So if you live, if you know that you live in Italy, that is what I'm saying. If you know you live in Italy, you don't have document. That is what I mean. Instead of you to go to Germany, either you go to Spain, relax your mind, prove, have your own Nigerian uh, passport. Once you have your Nigerian passport, be then ask for somebody to do empadronamento, read my lips. If you go to Spain, you have your Nigerian passport, say to the person that you want empadronamento. If they were happy to fund, you will pay. They will give you empadronamento. That is a proof of address. That is how you can be putting all your proof together and avoid having a problem with police. By the time every Every three years, if your fingerprint is clear, you have not had anything, you have not break the rules of the country, you have not committed any crime. At the end of the day, once the file is open, trust me, they will give you your document. Forget about those that is making noise that Spain, they are hungry. Nobody hungry there, nobody died there. I have people that have their passports, they are there, they don't want to live there. Trust me, because people like to say what they don't know. I'm telling you what I know. Nobody is dying of hunger in that country. Nobody. Everywhere they support them because they have the document. They support them. The government also gives house in Spain. Without you won't be paying if you are not working. And they have what they call are you that the familiar? They pay each family. They have a payment that they give. There are people that is there, they with three children or two children, they get eight hundred or one thousand in a month in Spain. But have you ever seen them dragging somebody from Spain that they are deporting that person? No. Spanish don't molest. What is important to you is for you to live in a country where you'll be treated like a human being. Not tomorrow they are, they are showing you, putting your face on YouTube. People are making videos on punch the person here. The way they are dragging the person, taking the person to the airport. What kind of things is that? Are we not human? We don't deserve to be treated as animal. We are not animal. We are human. So we should respect ourselves. If they don't want people to come there, then there's no point of people going there. Because people are going there. That is why they are treating people as trash. That is why they are treating people. Because they think that people are just deaf. People don't listen. They think people is not listening to them. They think if by the time they start really treating people like rubbish, that is where other people will stay behind. Please, don't let anybody treat your child as a rubbish. Because... There are a lot of people that they have money. They are looking for a child. They are not getting it. So you that have opportunity to have, don't neglect your child just because of Tiri or something. No amount of money that you will use to buy a child. If you have the opportunity to have your child, if you are feeding in Italy, you are feeding with 10 Tiri and all your family, they are giving you Tiri on Dredgiro. As far as you have a roof over your head, my brother, my sister, respect the dignity of your child. Children. Respect the dignity of your children. Your respect tomorrow is your kids. They don't have respect for we because of all the way we were not born here. We all come here in a different way. They don't have respect for we the parents. But we should not drag our children to our mess as well. We should not drag our children down. The way they are treating us, we should not make them to treat our children like that. Do you know what it is? They want to deport you. They are dragging you. They are dragging your child. Is it not heartbroken? I feel it. I know that I'm not in the position, I'm not in the situation, but a pain for my brother and my sister is my pain as well. I feel the pain. I feel when I see the children crying, the way they are dragging them, I feel it. It really hurts me. It hurts my heart. It breaks my heart. So if I'm sitting down today talking, I don't just talk because I want to talk. I'm telling you that you should please, for the sake of our children, don't let them molest your child. Don't because of the money that you want to get. Just be, You don't need to impress people. We have gone to a situation in abroad. We need to impress ourselves and our children. We don't need to impress anybody anymore. Things have changed. 
when things change, let us admit it. Our brother that we know years ago is not the abroad that we are living here today. The abroad situation has changed. Everything in abroad has changed. So because things change, we need to even change our way. We should not prove to anybody that it is well when it's not well. If that is not my thing. If it's not well with me, it's not well. I don't even care. Even if you are going to laugh at me tomorrow, do I care? I'm not bothered. It's not well with me. I'm not coming here to give you a fake smile and say it is well. It is not well because they need big money. Yeah, because they need big money, but that money is not bringing any plus to their life. Please, don't ask your wife to go to Germany with your child no you are a father if god give you that position for you to be a father applaud it honor it appreciate god for it you don't have document today that will not make your child to be a slave to anybody it is time for we the black people start appreciating our life start putting ourselves in a position that we are beyond more than what they think we are above we are above what they think that we are it's time for us to start taking the ground to prove to them that we are more than what they think that we are. We should not give the chance because they want to give us talking. When you are working tomorrow, when you have your document, you have your document, your wife have, his, have a document, both of you can work. Both of you can work, you can put it together. You must not be a billionaire. Everybody was not born to be a billionaire. If I have the chance to be a billionaire, I will thank God for it. But I'm not dragging myself. I'm not putting myself in any complicated situation for me to be a billionaire. Mm, I'm not ready to lose my strength. I beg go. I don't feel for trouble. I don't have any strength to lose. I'm not ready to live on any medication for the rest of my life. For people, for people to be giving me, hey, mama, mama, those that is giving you, mama, those that are giving you, hey, daddy, oh, they are done ballet. And in the night, they will go to their bed. They will sleep and have their rest of my life. But in the night, you can't sleep except you take medication. What kind of life is that one? What kind of life? Stay in where you are. Please, this is 2020. Don't drag yourself in any situation. Stay in the country that you are. Build your document. Build it. It's the six months document that lead to passport. Trust me. It's a six months document. It will lead to passport. From six months, it will be one year. From one year, it will be two years. From two years, it will be three years. From three years, it will be five years. From five years, it will build to have indefinite leave. So remain in that country. Once you have indefinite leave to remain in the country, go and ask a lawyer if you know. If you don't know, go and ask a solicitor. And when I, now that I have my leave to remain in this country, what is the right procedure for me to take before I can be called, before I can be able to apply for the passport? They will tell you, by the time they tell you, you focus on the right process. Go through it and do it. By the time you hold your red passport in your hand, then you can go to anywhere that you wish to go. You can go to anywhere because most people, they go to Germany. They have collected their two years. At the end of the day, they didn't grant their document. Then they were deported. Have bread now. Is it not better than not? Was the two years document, Italian two years document, was it not better than the, the money that they were working towards? At the end, they leave the country without nothing. No money. No documents. Frustrate their children, frustrate themselves, frustrate the wife, frustrate the husband. What's the point? Does it really worth it? If I ask, do you think it worth it? No, it don't worth it. My own answer is no. I don't care what anybody will say. Maybe somebody will say she don't have documents. She's making noise. I don't really bother. It don't really bother me. I am sitting here. I should be. A, I, I'm matured enough to know if I have documents or not. So anybody' opinion don't ruin me down. It don't weigh me down. I'm above that. I've crossed that bridge long time ago. Whatever opinion anybody think, it don't really bother me. I know what I'm saying. So don't drag your child or drag your wife or your husband to Germany for because of money. Then tomorrow you face deportation. If you don't have documents, you are living in Germany. I'm telling you, read my lips. This is my platform. I'm not hiding. I'm not scared. I'm not saying anything that is illegal to anybody. I have my mouth widely. I'm saying it. I'm putting my face here, saying it. If you are in Germany, you they, they have not granted your document. Please leave the country. Go to Spain or go to Sweden. Go and find your peace of mind. Forget about money. Money will come when your document is in your hands. It's never too late. 
leave the country. If they ask you to leave the con country, immediately they ask you to go. Go straight away. Go straight away. There is just too heartbreaking. Some people will say they are not sleeping in their house. They are sleeping in their friend's house. What kind of life is that one? Germany is not the only Europe, the European country that they have. Even if they are not paying you money, you that was coming to abroad, you didn't even have any bank that you know that you'll be getting money. You know that it's not going to be easy anyway. You yourself, be honest to yourself. We know that it's not going to be easy when we're leaving our country, coming to another man's land. We know that it's not going to be an easy situation. We know. It's time for us to say the truth to ourselves. We know that it's not going to be an easy situation. We know that it's not going to be easy for us at all because it's another mass country. It's another mass land. We know that it's not going to be easy for us to be living in that country. So no matter the situation that you find yourself, don't give up. It's not over yet. Stay with your one-year document. Stay with your six-month document. Focus on it. Build it. And that document tomorrow, it will give you your nationality of that country where you are living. Trust me. It's no magic. You don't need fasting and prayer. You don't need to sow any seed. You just have to build it. it there's no point for you to start saying, putting offering, start sowing seed, start putting envelope, making a vow. No. It's you. The life of your document is in your hands. It's not the seed that you are going to sow to any man of God, any woman of God, that will make your document... Pray to your God, follow the right process because the pastor himself is going through the right process as well. So you can't expect a man of God to go and do fasting and prayer for you when you yourself, you are not going through the right process. Let's be honest to ourselves. There is no shortcut when it comes to a document. A document, you just have to follow the right procedure. That is the way it is. It's not our country. Me, I'm not saying that our have document is my country. It's not my country. I was born and brought up in Nigeria. I'm a Nigerian. My place of birth tell me where I come from. I don't want to fake fake claim any country that does not belong to me. I'm a Nigerian. I was born Nigerian. Grow up as a Nigerian. And I'm proud to be a Nigerian. I'm very proud to be a Nigerian because the Nigerian that make me to be who I am today. I'm a Nigerian, so I'm so proud of it. No matter European document that we use tomorrow, I know where I'm coming from and I'm so blessed to have a place that I'm coming from. I don't want to claim any country that tomorrow they will trash me out like a pig. They will open and throw me out like a waste bin. Then I've claimed that I'm a, no, I'm a Nigerian. I represent it don't bother me. Being in Nigeria does not make me to be lesser than anybody. It's a country and that is where I come from. And that is where my origin is coming from. And when it comes to nationality, many people just think that because they have a nationality, they start claiming. It's really funny what I'm hearing now. I'm telling you people, I build my document with my, my own brain. I work, I work, I work for it. I really work to get my document. I build it. Yes, I'm very proud. I can live today and go to Canada. I know the right process that I will take. I don't seek asylum. I will go and follow the right law. And I will work in that country. Of course, why won't I work? I'm not a billionaire daughter. I leave my country to come here to hustle. Also, I have my two hands and my two legs and my eyes. Glory be to God. My mouth and my nose. That give me and my brain. This is my big brain. Give me the opportunity to hustle. I will go there. Any job that I find, I will do. Provided that job is reading that my document is working. I don't really care what people think that, oh, she's a cleaner. Uh, she's this, uh, she's the other one. The other one is changing the other one pampas. The other one is cleaning the toilet. Who cares? What is important that you know at the end of the month, your salary will swing into your account and you are bringing a bright future to your document and you are bringing a bright future to your children's life. Where people can speak tomorrow, your child can come out and speak. That is my priority. It's not what people say. What people say that I'm doing for a living does not really bother me. But me that I'm working, I know that I'm doing a genuine job. I'm building a brighter future for myself and my children. That is my priority. It's not what anybody's. It's not anybody's opinion towards my job. That is my priority. Because people like to talk. Now. Because sometimes, most of us, we are missing our track because of what people are saying with their mouth. Who cares? 
If they are too bright, why they are not staying there? Why they are here? That's what I always ask myself. By the time people talk about people job, what people do for living, and they try to bring the person down, I said, if you were that bright, you're supposed to be living with your parents in Africa and live the posh life. Because when you are in another mathland, admit the situation. Admit that you are a foreigner. I'm a refugee. That is the way he is. That is the way he is. If you are a refugee, admit it that you are a refugee. Be proud of your refugee. Follow the, that, the right process that a refugee need to follow. Then tomorrow, they will call you immigrant. There is two different worlds. A refugee and immigrant is not the same. A refugee is when you seek an asylum and you are waiting, you are feeding on that day, you are living in their camp or you are living in their accommodation. You are a refugee. But the day you have your own document, you start working, you are paying your tax, you pay your bill, you feed yourself, you don't live on a government welfare anymore. You become immigrants. If you are immigrant, accept that you are immigrant. Follow the rules of the country. Don't break their rules. If you don't break their rules, with your six months, you will get to somewhere. Don't let anybody make, make it clear to you and say, if you come to Germany, they'll all give you money, they'll give you paper. Or more, you know, they play like that again. Which level now? Nothing they play like that again. It don't work that way anymore. It's the truth. Let's say it. Let's speak the truth. Let us share our own things let's pick our own side of it so that others will not fall a victim so that others will know the truth i won't come and come and sit in the platform and start showing you i have this document i have that one do i born with it do i get it with a snap of finger i need to tell you the way i build mine to encourage you so that tomorrow if you come across this video please share it if you come across this video tomorrow you listening you will say oh so this woman said i my first document was six, six months my husband know all my family they know i am so proud of it when I have my two years document, my husband was having his, he definitely lived to remain. He want to make me his dependent. I did accept it. I built my, I also get to his own level of document as well. That is why I always say to myself, I'm so proud of myself when it comes to some situation. I don't bother. I don't feel too big. I always adapt to any situation. When it comes to document level, I'm going go play. I will play it. I will play to the level, to the last level, provided I get what I want from the country. That is who I am. And that is where I want you to be. That is the spirit I want you to have. Don't drag what you can't get. Take it step by step. By the time you are telling the history of your document, you will be so proud. For those of you that have the chance to get married to a white man or a white woman, they give you document. Congratulations as well. For those of you that get married to your husband, your husband have document, then your husband give you congratulations as well. But for those that didn't have that opportunity now, that is not on that situation now, they don't have that chance now, don't also kill yourself. Build the one they give to you. Your six months is your passport. Trust me. Your six months is your passport. By the time you neglect that six months, you are not going anywhere to grab two years because your fingerprints will appear. Let's learn it. We are living in a Western world where our shadow will determine who we are. Not to talk about our fingerprint. Do you know what this fingerprint mean? If you have done your fingerprint in, in, in Italy, you are going to Germany, whatever story you tell them, they will take it from you. But your right truth is in the front of their computer. They are not going to tell you, brother, I already know your story. Do you think they are daft, daft for them to tell you? They are not going to be that daft to tell you they know your story. They will make you say whatever you want to say, but they have the truth in the front of their desk. So what are we saying? Why are we trying to do that? We are too smart when we are dealing with the real people. They don't take bribe. They, you, they don't take bribe. It's not where you, you are going to give them one naira or two naira. They will take your, your fingerprint that is in their view. They will rub it out. No, it's not going to be like that. 
It's not people that you are going to bribe. They are going to deal with you according to what you say. And they have the truth in their front already. They will use that truth. They will, that is why you see the people will say that there is a video that come out the other day. This man said he has been working for five years in Germany. And after that five years now, they are asking the man to go. You see, somebody have lived in that country for sound five years. Do you know how many years five years take out of somebody's life? They, after five years, they are sending the person out of the country. So what was the point? Do you, do you want to say to me now, it makes sense for that five years, the person lived there? No. If that person was living in Spain for that five years, by now, he will be putting on the proof on top of the table. He will be waiting for his six months or for his one-year document. Is it no more brighter? There is more hope. There is more future on that. People just say, oh, Spain... Forget about it. People bring you. People just want people to look them big. They will never say their truth. They will bring the shiny part of it, but the dark side of it. They will hide it because they want you. To, they just want people to see the level that they have. Do you really think all of us that is living in abroad, the level that we have today, is that the level that we wear when we come to abroad? Capital letter no now. Capital letter no. We all we were once like those that don't have documents as well. We all we were once like that. If your husband bring you to abroad, your husband was once like that brother that is facing that stress of not having documents now. So if your husband bring you to abroad, you come now, you take the document. He is not a shine shine thing. It was not easy for your husband to get his own either. So either is either from your wife or from your the husband. Somebody have already been in that situation like that. Let us stop giving the people the wrong information. Let's speak the truth. If everybody come out and speak the truth, people that don't have the chance to have the document, they can be able to learn from it so that they can sit their self down. They will know the right process that they are going to follow. But by the time we come here, paint ourselves with makeup, our face with makeup, sit down in the platform and start saying, I have this document, my husband got it, my wife got it, my children got it. Uh, the other one that don't have you, the person will just be saying, my God, if this person can get it, tell the person it's not easy. It takes me years. I follow process before I get to this place. So that when the person is going through process, he will know that one day there is a light in that darkness. I don't want anybody to drag each other down. When it comes to document, because it's not easy for anybody. It's not easy. Let's be honest. It's not something that is easy for any, any one of us. Can be Nigeria, Ghana, Cameroon, anywhere. Senegal, Mali, anywhere. Being a foreigner. A foreigner is a foreigner. And the foreigner will be treated as a foreigner. That is the law. We can't change it. We meet it. We take it from where we meet it. I accept it and work with it and live with it. Tomorrow, your testimony will be bigger than mine. Trust me. If you work with it, your testimony will be bigger than mine. Share this video. Tell everybody. Let those that need it, let them get the awareness. Don't go to Germany to seek asylum anymore. Thank you. Sorry. Something just blah blah in the front of the camera. So share this video. Let this video reach everyone. Anybody that this topic that my app, let the person take from there. If you want to seek asylum, I repeat, go to Sweden. Seek asylum. If you are living in Italy, you have your document. You don't find any job, register yourself as a self-employed and pay your tasks so that you have a proof to renew your document but if you have no if you don't have any documents in any way you can go also go to spain do your nigerian passport have your own empadronamento which is proof of address and if you register yourself in the gp which is a abulatorio yeah in spanish they call it abulatorio register yourself be going every proof that you are having get yourself a file be putting everything Trust me, after three years or four years, they will announce that those that have been living in Spain for so, so years like this, they should bring their proof and come and apply for document. Then you can be able. They will tell you what they need to do, what you need to add, what you need to add. Then you can go through it and, and 
follow the right procedure and just do your submission and believe God for your document. Definitely, you will have it. So don't push yourself. Don't drag your children down. Don't put your children in any situation because of any money. Because tomorrow, your tomorrow will be better and it will be greater than your today. That is my message. Somebody embossed me yesterday and asked me a buy UK document. So I'm going to make this. I'm going to. I promise her that I will talk about it. What I find out in the UK document concerning the immigration aspect is a bit complicated for here. Honestly, I'm living here. I'm seeing it that it's not really easy for people for them to be able to apply. On documents in this country so the only information that I could find in their website I'm not forging it is on their website and it will be the website will be linked out if you want to go and go if you want to go through it and read through it if you will find any information that will be irrelevant for you you can go through it what I know about UK UK don't really have like the only thing that I know that if you have a child here in the UK you are living here as a refugee you don't have a document your child don't have a document I know when that child will complete 10 years through your then you will apply for a, a, a resident permit for your child then through your child you can also get yours that is one thing that I know that somebody have used it or you rather go to I don't know, is this Salvation Army? If you know that you have not seek asylum, then you can ring Salvation Army. Let them take you so that you can be able to seek your asylum. Then they will post you in any city that they know that they have space. So if God stand by your side, then you follow their right procedure. They also give them document through that. Or if, if you are married to somebody that have document, for sure, once you have your child, you have all the proof for you to apply for your document. They will also give you. But apart from that, I have not seen, they said if you live in England, yeah, in the website, they also put it that if you have been living in England, you have been working in England, that means you must surely have a valid visa, not illegal. You must surely have a valid that if you are living in the UK, you have been working in the country for five years or you have been studying for five years, you also have right to apply for their resident permit. So that means you have to have a value visa. This is England and I'm talking about Great Britain. So that is what they said. And the other one as well, and the other one as well, if you are living in England, if you live in England, if you live in England as well, and you have a medical situation that won't permit you for you to work, the said is also allowed to use as a proof for you to apply for you to apply for for you to apply for their resident permit. Somebody that is not permitted to work or to go to school if he's having a medical condition, they said you should go to your GP. Prove all your medical reports. Then you be. They said if you if the person have a a serious situation, medical situation in the country. You don't have to be for five years. If you have a proof of medical report for two years, you are allowed to come to come and apply for your document. They said two years, they will accept a medical report of two years. They will give you. And what the UK also do, UK border is open. If you have a brother, I'm not giving wrong information. You can go on direct, uh, uh, direct gov. You will see all these things I'm saying. I'm not yet to show anybody my face. I'm very busy. I have three children. I have a lot to do with my time. So I just want to throw the little that I know. If you don't need it, maybe someone else will need it. So if you know you have a brother or sister or in any part of Africa, Nigeria is included. Thank God, at least we are not being rejected. I'm so blessed for that. I'm happy I'm in Nigeria. Up, up, Nigeria. So if you know that you have a brother that is a professional, it can be doctor, lawyer, any professional, like proper professional person that... He can apply for a job opportunity in the UK and the visa will be granted and the person can come to England to work in a genuine way. So if you have a medical doctor as a brother or as a sister or as a cousin or as a friend that is living in Nigeria, this is the right information for you to pass to them that they should go to UK embassy and find out more. They should apply for job opportunity, they have opened it, I think it's since last year, yeah, they open it, they open their border for professional people to come inside, so if you know that you have any relative, or your husband, or your wife, or your brother, or your sister, this thing, tell them they, they should go, they will grant the visa for them, they will come, then, other way that I also know that, 
they can come to UK. You can apply for a student visa if you have the money to pay. I think a deposit is like four to five thousand pounds for you to pay as a deposit. Then you will get your right visa, student visa. Then you come to England to study and take it from there. Like no joke, no joke, proper study. You, they will grant you a student visa. You come here and do your study that you want to study. So that is what I have about UK for now. And now I want to talk to my people that have a Spanish passport that is living in England. Please, this message is for you. I'm no mad I know it all. I took my time, eh? I'm the person when I was in Spain, anything that I'm talking that got to do with documents in abroad, I'm not lying. When I was in Spain, I do work with courts in Spain. I did tell you I'm a professional. I was working as a translator. I go to Spain because I can speak Spanish to the best of my knowledge. I go to court to translate for my people and I don't charge anybody. I do it for free. It was my voluntary thing that I was doing. I was working, but I was also putting my time to go and support my brothers and my sister in the court when they're in the situation that they can't express themselves. So I know a very right law than giving you when it comes to Spanish and at the shop and finish because that was my my team because I, I go to court anytime any day I was working for them to translate for people I never said I was a police informer to a beggar I, okay I was going there I was going there to translate for people uh -huh. and then no I don't want anybody to say she said she was a police informant or oh, never when at all I'm not a police informant I was helping my brothers and sisters it was my voluntary thing that I was doing to support my brothers and my sisters to for them to be able to express themselves so I was going to court to translate for people so this message is for my Spanish people now if you are living in the UK, you have your Spanish passport, please don't be too rushed to change because now they are leaving the EU. Don't be too rushed to change your nationality. When they say Spanish is nowhere, I laugh at people when they open their mouth, they are rubbish in Spain. They are just laugh at them because they are sitting down there. They don't know what is Spanish document. If they know what is Spanish document, I think Spain is supposed to be the first country that we Nigerians, so all black self, supposed to be going because they treat you as a human. Once you are qualified to have your document, they will give you without no stress. They don't stress you. They just give you. So if you have a Spanish document, please, before you change it, to any country document, any country passport, think twice. If you have a Spanish passport, before you change your nationality to any other country, we that is living in the UK, if you know you have a Spanish passport, you are living in the UK, before you will change your Spanish passport to a UK passport, go on that direct gulf. Read properly. UK do do a nationality, dual nationality, I say dual, I'm speaking Spanish, uh, they do uh, a double nationality, they do dual citizenship, do you know the meaning of your dual citizenship, the, any country, that is why when people say Spanish is not good, my God, <laughs> I laugh, if you have the chance to have a document in Spain, grant yourself the lucky one, count yourself that you are blessed, because when you hold the Spanish passport, among your own door better, Forget about worriedness. No matter the crime you will commit, you will go to jail and come out. You still stick with your nationality. This British passport that you are seeing, that people are saying, I'm breaking, I'm breaking me, I'm not breaking. And I, I'm, I'm very proud to be a Spanish. Of course, I know the paper that I hold in my hand. If you commit a crime in any country that they are using dual nationality, when they use dual nationality, where they use two citizenship that they said you can take your british passport and still get old with your nigerian passport just know that that passport you just need to be careful because the day you fuck up big fuck up i've seen it i'm not bringing information i was working in primark before my ex manager she's a jamaica she was born here her parents is a jamaica i witnessed about four or five jamaica people that hold spanish passport they've been deported they, they hold their uk passport after they commit a crime they said jail they were deported can you imagine they hold passports they retrieve their passport they judge them with the other nationality so if you have the opportunity to have a country passport that they don't do dua, don't change it to any country that they do dua. 
because the day mess we come, we pray that we don't mess, but nobody is a saint, as my previous video, everybody can make mistakes, so, by the, so that the day mistake we come, you will not be treated with your real origin, like Spanish, we don't do dual nationality. It's the day you take Spanish passport, that day you start having your birth certificate as a Spanish. They don't want to treat you as a Nigerian. If you commit any crime, they will use their Spanish law to trash the person. The person will go to prison. The person will come out. He will still hold his own Spanish passport. Why in the UK? I live here, I've never lived in Germany. I've never lived in Holland. I don't know about their nationality, but I, with my mouth open, I'm telling you about UK passport. If you have a UK passport, you commit a crime here because they do dual nationality. They do dual citizenship. They are going to judge you as a Nigerian, as a foreigner, because they do dual. If they do dual, they are keeping the second one for rainy day. The day they want to trash that person, they will trash the person. The person will find himself in, in any country that the person comes from. So before you change your nationality that they don't do dua before you change it to any other country that they do dua be wise that is the end of today so if anybody have anything to contribute i'm going to put some few minutes you can call in if you have any opinion you have anything to tell our people here you want to still add any contribution to the ask for people to get more awareness about their document feel free to call in the line is open, is on WhatsApp as well. So you can call if you are calling outside the UK. You don't have to waste your credit. Call on WhatsApp. Then you can say your own. If you want to add to what I've said, you want to add more awareness to people, we need to give more. what we have. That is what we need to give us. This is what this platform is all about. I'm not on YouTube. I'm on Facebook. I have a YouTube channel. For now, I'm not doing on YouTube channel. I come to Facebook. Since I'm sitting down here, nobody pay me. I'm not expecting money from anybody. I work, glory be to God, my husband also works, so we have a salary at the end of the month. But I just want to give the little you that I know. I just want to give it to people so that others can be able to still grab something from it, to still spread it around. Somebody asked me about France. France is a very complicated place, honestly. France is a very complicated place. I visit France, I think, two, two or three occasions like that. It's very hard in there for them to get documents. I've, I don't know the way they get their documents there in France, but most people that I know that have their documents in France, I think when they have baby, then they will be living with the government. That is how they take it from there. I'm not too sure if there is any number of years that if you live in France that... They come to so I will do a research. So if you want to know anything, you can send me inbox. You can inbox me. So by the time I do any research, I will inbox you any information that be gathered. Or if people want to know more about this thing, then we can have a part two of this one because what we need to do, we need to talk about something that is important to people, not just talking, talking, bringing people down. No, I'm not that kind of person because. I'm not a perfect person, so we all need each other to grow. So if you want to call in, you want to add any additional, you want to talk to your brothers or your sisters that you think that if you talk your own part, the process that you also use to get your document that it will be helpful, please do a favor and give a ring, just call so that we know. And for those of you that have children in abroad, that is saying that your child is a, is, 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 was born here. Yeah, your child was born here. But see, that child will have a, a passport. So don't start saying, oh, my child is a, my, my, oh, this thing come out again. Is that now? I don't know why I keep on coming out. So stop saying that, oh, my child is this, my child is that. Everybody's children is very important. None of us, as far as we have, you have your child here. Me, I also have mine here. Mine as well is not a church rat. So if you think, you have, don't say because your child is this, your child is that. I have limits of whatever you will be doing. Because remember, your place of birth will tell you where you are coming from and your real origin. Don't forget when you are filling a form, no matter the document that you have, when you are filling a form, they also put place of origin. When you find that place of origin, that is where they will really know who you are. 
So don't be saying that my child is German because I, this thing that I'm saying is somebody that said it and it was so annoying to me. Say, oh, my child is German. She that is saying that her child is German. Her husband have a duro document. She, she has said she have the a duro document. She have not even give the, the German passport to her child. So she's saying it to intimidate others. No, everybody children where they were born, their place of birth, is where, is where they, they are coming from. But see, they are 18. That is when they can stand their ground. So you maintain your own identity. Maintain your document so that your child can be able to benefit from it when your child is 18. Because most of this European country, if you don't have their passport, see, that child will be 18. England is very good of that. Once you have your own indefinite leave to remain, if you have a child, they will give your, your child passport straight away. That one, I applaud them for that. They are very good at that one. If you have their five years here, if you have your child, they will give straight away, straight passport. So that is one thing they are really good at. For, for those of us that is living in a country, when we know that our situation, if you have your child in Spain, trust me, even if you don't have def, indefinite leave to remain, if you have your child in Spain, once your child completes one year, you, if you have your child, you have even if you have one year document, if you have your baby, you give your baby that one year. The day your child, that your child com, document completes one year, you will go and apply for passport for your child. Every child that was born in Spain, that their parents have the passport. Once their child is three years, they have their passport. But we don't come out and brag and say, my child is Spanish. No, I am in Nigeria. Any blood that flow in my child vein is a Nigerian blood. So my children, they are so proud to be in Nigeria. And I'm so proud to be, be the one that brought them to this world because they are so proud to be in Nigeria. That is who my children, they are very proud to be in Nigeria. I didn't get back to them in Nigeria. So we should all know our limits in everything. We should be too proud so that we stop intimidating others so that people should stop falling a victim because of the way we do things. Those that don't have passport today, tomorrow they will have. Those that don't have document today, tomorrow they will have. So if you have any awareness, give it to people instead of you to use it to intimidate people. There is different two things. One is when you are saying things to intimidate people. The other one is when you are saying things to encourage people. So it depends on how you say it and the way you put it. That is how people feel. So it's those that is on top, that is dragging those that is just starting to be on problem. Then tomorrow, they will still come and say, I'm, proud, I'm, I'm very proud that they are deporting them, which is very wrong. I will never say that, that I'm very happy that they are deporting my fellow brother, because that should have been me as well. So God bless you everyone for stopping by, for watching. Please share this video. If there has been anything that has not been said, please do me a favor. Put it in the comment section. People will come across this video tomorrow or later in the day or anytime. They will go through it. Maybe they will pick something from it. If this thing, this message, that, this topic that we talk about today, if he has had anything to your own, to your situation, I'm so happy that he had something. But if he has not had anything, don't worry. Today's topic might not be for you. Maybe the one of next week will also be for you. I love you all. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your time that you have spent here. You have really dedicated your time to stay in this platform since God bless you. And I so much appreciate everybody that is on this platform, that you people are so matured, you are so respectful, and you people are so kind, and you really show your maturity. That is what we need to do. We all need to be mature. So if there is anything that you want me to talk about, you don't want to say it, inbox me. I'm here to sit here to talk about it, provided it's not to drag anybody down, it's not to insult anybody. I won't insult nobody because I won't let anybody insult me. I won't open this, my platform, to pour insults on anybody. I'm a mother. I got three kids. I got a husband. I'm a very responsible woman. I should know my position as a woman. So I'm not coming down here. Don't bring me any topic to come and insult anybody, to rubbish anybody. If you want to do that, please don't come to this platform. Um, I have a home. I'm living with kids. There are words that I cannot use in this my platform. But if you have any awareness, you have anything, you think we need to talk about it, feel free to inbox me, contact me, leave a message, then we'll talk about it. If you want your voice note to be played, I will play it. But we don't show picture on this platform. 
either we don't show it because i believe on better tomorrow so there is law that go with pictures i don't show it at all even if you i won't get take money from anybody to show anybody pictures so don't even bother to say if the parents you do mm -mm. i'm not for that i'm on the white platform i'm not on the black platform i'm here for good i'm not here for bad trust me if you follow this platform a lot will be coming up awareness that we know will be bringing it out then we all will learn together then we'll move on for better tomorrow good luck we we'll see next friday have a lovely weekend have fun please don't break the rule of the country where you are living stay blessed and feel free enjoy yourself happiness is free i'm 40 i'm hidden 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 behind 40 so see you guys soon much love and stay blessed bye bye thank you and please share this video subscribe to my youtube channel unstoppable blessing tv much love peace